This presentation is an overview of the Eventuate platform. I describe how Eventuate solves the distributed data management challenges that you will face when using microservices. You will learn that Eventuate enables you to focus on developing your services business logic. First, I'll describe Eventuate at a high level. After that, I'll dive deeper into the two main components of the platform. I'll first describe Eventuate Tram, which is a framework for applications that use traditional persistence. After that, I'll describe Eventuate Local, which is a framework for applications that use event sourcing. Eventuate is the distributed data management platform for microservices. It provides a programming model for the microservice architecture that's based on transactional asynchronous messaging, sagas, CQRS, and event sourcing. It supports Java, Node.js, and .NET. This slide shows the relationship between the Eventuate platform and key microservice architecture patterns. A defining characteristic of the microservice architecture is that the services are loosely coupled. To ensure loose coupling, each service must have its own database. What's more, transactions and queries that span services should avoid distributed transactions since they're a form of runtime coupling. As a result, you must use the distributed data management patterns to implement transactions and queries that span services in a microservice architecture. You must use the Saga pattern to implement transactions that span services. A Saga is a sequence of local transactions in each of the services is coordinated using asynchronous messaging. There are two types of Sagas choreography-based sagas which use events for coordination, and orchestration-based sagas which use asynchronous request response. The CQRS pattern is one of the key patterns for implementing queries that span services. It uses events to maintain a replica that's designed to support one or more queries. Eventuate makes it easy for you to use the distributed data management patterns in your microservices. It provides a framework that directly implements Saga orchestration. It also provides the building blocks for the other distributed data management patterns. Eventuate provides transactional messaging for applications that use traditional persistence. You can write producers that use Eventuate to send messages using the transactional outbox pattern. You can also write idempotent consumers. Eventuate makes it straightforward to develop services that publish and consume domain events and therefore implement patterns such as CQRS and choreography-based sagas. Services that use traditional persistence can call an event publishing API that under the covers is implemented using the transactional outbox pattern. Alternatively, Eventuate gives you the option of using event sourcing if you want to adopt a fully event-centric approach. Here is the very high-level architecture of an application that uses Eventuate. Services are written using the Eventuate framework. A producer service sends a message or an event using the Eventuate framework. Eventuate stores the message or event in a database. The CDC service reads the message from the database and publishes it to the message broker. A consumer service uses the Eventuate framework to consume messages or events. The Eventuate framework builds on the underlying capabilities of the message broker client library. It adds essential features such as item potency, and when necessary, sharding. The Eventuate CDC service publishes messages that have been inserted into the message or events table in the database to the message broker. It does that in one of two ways. For some databases like MySQL and Postgres, it uses transaction log tailing. For other databases, it uses polling. The CDC service actually is a Spring Boot application and it's available as a Docker container. 
you can scale it by having a CDC service per service database. Eventuate supports numerous databases, including Postgres, MySQL, and SQL Server. It also supports the following message brokers, Apache Kafka, Apache ActiveMQ, RabbitMQ, and Redis Streams. You can easily get started with Eventuate by visiting start.eventuate.io and generating a skeleton service. The Eventuate platform is also described in my book, Microservices Patterns. The examples are all Eventuate based. Now that I've given you an overview of the Eventuate platform, let's look at Eventuate Tram, which is one of the platform's two frameworks. Eventuate Tram is a framework that provides transactional messaging, item potent consumers, and sagas for services that use traditional persistence. It has a layered architecture. The foundation is transactional messaging, which implements the transactional outbox and the item potent consumer patterns. Events and commands build upon transactional messaging and Saga orchestration builds upon commands. This slide shows the architecture of an Eventuate Tram application. Services are written using the Eventuate framework. A producer sends a message using Eventuate Tram, which inserts the message into a message table. The Eventuate CDC service reads the message from the message table and publishes it to the message broker. A consumer service uses Tram to consume messages from the message broker. A producer service uses the Tram framework to publish a message as part of an ACID database transaction. The framework, of course, uses the transactional outbox pattern. The producer sends a message to a message channel. The message channel implements ordered at least once delivery. Tram implements these features using the capabilities of the underlying message broker. It extends them when necessary. A producer publishes messages with a partition key in order to scale consumers while preserving ordering. Eventuate Tram delivers messages with the same partition key to the same consumer instance. It implements this capability on top of message brokers that don't have it built in. A consumer service uses the Eventuate Tram framework to consume messages. In addition to scalable, ordered, at least once delivery, Eventuate Tram also implements the item potent consumer pattern. You can configure a consumer to use Tram to automatically detect and discard duplicate messages. Tram tracks the messages that have been successfully processed in a database table. Let's now take a look at the Eventuate Tram Java APIs. Here's the transactional messaging API. There is a message producer interface for sending messages and a message consumer interface for consuming messages. The message producer interface defines a send method. This method has two parameters. The first parameter is a destination channel and the second parameter is the message to send. The message consumer interface defines a subscribe method. The subscribe method has three parameters. The first parameter identifies the subscription. It's used for two things. First, it defines a durable subscription that prevents a consumer from missing messages from when it is down. Second, it identifies multiple service instances as being part of the same logical subscription. Tram delivers each message to just one of those instances based on the partition key. The second parameter is the channels to subscribe to. The third parameter is the message handler. It's invoked for each message. An eventuate message has three attributes. The first is a unique ID. The second are headers, which is a collection of name value pairs. And the third is the payload, which is typically JSON. Events builds on transactional messaging. It implements the concept of a domain event that's published by a domain-driven design aggregate that has a type and an ID. The aggregate type is the message's destination channel and the aggregate ID is used as the message's partition key. 
If you're unfamiliar with the term aggregate, then just think business object. A service publishes events using the domain event publisher interface. This interface defines an overloaded publish method. This method has three parameters. The first parameter is the type of the aggregate that's emitting the events. The second parameter is the aggregate's ID. The third parameter are the events. A service consumes events by creating one or more domain event handlers. A domain event handler maps aggregate events to event handlers. An event handler is a method that has a single parameter of type domain event envelope. A domain event envelope contains the event object along with metadata such as the type and the ID of the aggregate that published the event. The service must also create a domain event dispatcher bean for each domain event handler's object. The domain event dispatcher creates the named durable subscription for the event handlers. Commands like events build on transactional messaging. It implements asynchronous request response. A producer service sends a command message to a channel. A consumer service processes the command and sends a reply message to the specified reply channel. A service sends a command using the command producer interface. This interface defines the send method which has four parameters. The first parameter is the channel to which to send the command. The second parameter is the command object. The third parameter is the channel for the reply and the fourth parameter are optional headers for the message. The API for defining command handlers is similar to the one used for defining event handlers. A service configures command handlers by first constructing a command handlers object. A command handlers object maps commands arriving on a channel to command handler methods. A command handler has a single parameter of type command message Command message contains the command along with metadata. The command handler must return a reply message. The service must also create a command dispatcher for each command handler object. A command dispatcher creates the named durable subscription for the command handlers. The final part of Eventuate Tram is a Saga orchestration framework. It builds on commands. The Saga orchestrator sends command messages to Saga participants. A Saga participant receives a command, executes a local transaction, and then sends back a reply message. Here's the definition of the orchestration-based Create Order Saga. It consists of three steps. Each step is a transaction and an optional compensating transaction. The class local create order saga data stores the application maintains saga state that can be read and updated by the steps of the saga. Here is the saga command handler in the customer service. The reserve credit method is invoked when a reserve credit command message is read from the customer service channel. It returns a reply message. This method first retrieves the customer from the database. It then attempts to reserve credit. If it's successful, it replies with a success message. Otherwise, it sends back a failure message. Now that we've looked at Eventuate Tram, let's look at Eventuate Local. It's an event sourcing framework and event store. Eventuate Local has two parts. The first part is a framework for developing services that use event sourcing. It currently supports Spring Boot and Micronaut. The second part of Eventuate Local is an event store. It's built using proven, robust, and scalable open source technologies. This slide shows the architecture of an Eventuate Local based application. A command side service persists aggregates in the event store. The event store has three components. It stores events in a relational database such as MySQL or Postgres. It uses Apache Kafka for messaging. 
and the Eventuate CDC service integrates the database in Kafka. It publishes events inserted into the database to Kafka. Services that consume events use the Eventuate local framework to subscribe to those events in Kafka. For more information about Eventuate Local, including the details of the APIs, please go to the eventuate.io website.